Hi, everybody. Glad you're here on a Friday. I'm Wayne McCormick. And I'm Brave Blanks. Thank you for joining us. The Abilene SWAT team was called to a house early this morning in connection to an overnight shooting that left one teen in serious condition. Now, K Texas crime reporter Jocelyn Tobar says they were looking for another teen. Jocelyn? Trying to find 19 year old Michael Higgins, Wayne. He was wanted for questioning about the shooting on Salmon's last night. It turns out they didn't have to look too far. They found him right where they suspe suspected. Abilene police scoured an area around a bridge near South 8th Street today for any evidence from an overnight shooting. My mom had called and, and said, are you okay? I thought she was just talking about the rain, and then she told me about the shooting. Neighbors next to the home where the shooting happened told K-Texas the 800 block of Salmons isn't typically a dangerous place to live. I mean, a couple things have been stolen, but... You know, nothing major like this has ever happened. Just after 9 o'clock Thursday night, 19 year old Lloyd Sheldon III suffered a single gunshot wound to the back. Abilene police said evidence at the scene pointed to a drug deal gone wrong. Something neighbors say doesn't surprise them. There's a lot of coming and going down there. The Abilene SWAT team executed a search warrant at this home on South Willis and took 19 year old Michael Higgins in for questioning. The interrogation landed Higgins in the Taylor County Jail, charged with second degree aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and leaving police to continue the search for any evidence from the shooting. Sheldon, the victim in the shooting, is recovering at Hendrick Medical Center. He's said to be in serious condition but is expected to survive. Here are the facts on the charges that Higgins faces. He's charged with second degree aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He's in custody in the Taylor County Jail. Bail set at $125,000. Higgins had also just been arrested in January for complications from a previous drug possession charge. 